James Madison, 17 dubs. The University of Virginia, 17 wins. Two programs separated by an hour drive and both in Cavaliers with 14. An all ACC freshman team selection for UVA with Eden Bigham, the second and third in the history of the Cavaliers as this is lined down the left field line and it's a fair ball and going in for two, Hilton slides in safely. It's a leadoff double. Oh, you see the speed of the Fleet checks in with Bella Hensler and delivers a strikeout against Cabrell. Took a bit something off of the pitch. She had visit the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. Dukes at 48th in the RPI and UVA 34th as the RPI updated a couple of hours ago. One for eight in the three-game series against Clemson with a couple of strikeouts. Had a first-inning RBI double against Liberty in the 3-1 victory. And she might have another RBI single here. And it, it, in fact, scores a run for UVA. The throw down to third is not in time. And the Cavaliers score first. It's 1-0 Hoos. Just getting that ball through the right side of the infield. Good hustle. Weaver taking off. Are two aboard and one across for the Cavaliers. Just beyond the reach of the sophomore K.K. Mathis yeah, at first. Baseman, 20, and the Cav And the key to all that with all those varieties is ball placement. Well, she places that one a bit too inside, and that loads the bases for Sarah Kuhn. And see that the second walk in the end here during the regular season with the expanded stadium. Yeah, first time they've been in Harrisonburg since 2019 for a real game. That is, oh, what a play by J uh, Jasmine Hall. And she dives to apply the tag that's too late. But she keeps the ball on the infield and prevents another run for the Hoos. Yeah, the momentum of that line. And told us that she's very scrappy at the plate. Gets that one in the outfield. It'll land. Reed Butler can't make the catch. And this might be a bases clearing double for UVA. It is. The Cavaliers expand on their lead to four. Three RBIs for Kelsey Hackett. A little more productivity while well, Eaton in the four spot. Singles drives in a run. Barbie walks and then the scrappy bottom three led by Hackett. Gets this three run double and it's quickly a four nothing Virginia advantage. His old school ends up winning that recruiting battle. That's lined up the middle. Base hit. UVA scores another run. Second RBI on the year for Van Ash and UVA puts up five. Well, and Holbrook, the number nine hitter, will come. Reese Holbrook, the junior. So Fleet working really hard in this first inning. Find three outs. You know, Kurt, at that off-speed pitch. One strike away from getting out of this. She gets it. So a strikeout for Reese Holbrook. But UVA sends nine to the plate in the top of the first inning. Stri over her first two years, but just... Three appearances last season as UVA brought in a graduate student transfer and Jenny Bresler had eight different pitchers on the roster last year. That bounces against Hall and the Dukes have a base runner to start their afternoon. 189 the opponent and Bigham, Eden Bigham 139. She has an ERA of 2.35. Hensler draws a walk for James Madison and the Dukes quickly place two base runners on. James Madison batter with base runners on. 460 on the season. One hops this one to short. Jade Hilton makes the play as the runners advance to second and third here with one out. Got enough. Hoag's 2-2. Grounded to the left side. Tough play for Hilton. Safe at first. It's an RBI infield single for KK Mathis. And that. Here's Hallie Hall. Pops it up. Shallow in the outfield, Lauren Van Ash. She's got it for two outs. Oh, far it did for, for a half a swing. Third swing, maybe? Yeah, yeah, third swing. You're probably right. <laughs> oh, 2 high chopper. Good play from Cabrell. Tosses it over to Eaton, and that'll do it for the first inning from the bank of the James Field. A couple of weeks to find a 30-win season. Celebrate. That's not an easy thing to do. UVA goes back to the top of the order with Jade Hilton as the shortstop flies out to the right fielder, Hallie Hall, one away here in the second. As that you were in different, different areas on campus, but now uh, there is an emphasis on much more interaction between the various programs. 
Cabrell one hops, one over. Madison Edwards glove for a base hit. UVA has a base runner here in the road half. Take things to the next level. That one's looped up the middle. Late break on it from Butler, but she scoops that out of the air. Two outs. So basket catch running in. It's a difficult, much more difficult play than it looks. Ball wasn't hit all that hard. Stays in contact. The 0-2 against Eaton to the right side. Hops off the glove of K.K. Mathis. Moving over to third, Cabrell. And UVA with runners on the corners with two outs against a James Madison team that has been very good in the field this season. The games are thinning out a bit for Coach Harden's team. Yeah, they've uh, they just worked out. I mean, actually. Out to left. That ball's gone. No doubt. Shelby Barbie with her second home run on the season. It's a three-run shot. And the Cavaliers are up by seven. And with two outs, they've scored a bunch of these runs with two outs. All those are unearned as a register uh, officially. But that results in all these runs being unearned in the three-run second frame. As the Duke should have been out of the inning. Outstanding pitching, but the defense oftentimes backed that up. Hall couldn't get it. Campbell does on a knee. No dice. Infield single for UVA, Sarah Kuhn. Yeah, Campbell did what she could for the Cavaliers. Just that is that confidence is just built here in the first couple of innings. Jeff Tilka, the first year hitting coach for UVA down the third baseline, has got to feel pretty good right now. There's a strikeout from Fleet. Her third on the day. Hackett goes down. That ends the top of the set. They did get one run back in the in the first, but that Kind of muted by the three run, all unearned in the second. Oh, hot shot, diving play made, Cabrell. Against Madison Edwards, her fellow second baseman, one out. Shortstop Style? I'd say more, life. Than, more than a couple. Yeah, pretty close. Maybe she saw James Madison. She play. might have. Abby Campbell, oh, nice backhanded play. Shortstop to shortstop. Hilton. Just hit a lot of doubles, as we saw back in the first inning with Kelsey Hackett's bases clearing double. Slap hit up the middle. That evades Hilton. And a base hit. Fourth on the year for Avery. Transferring and transitioning from Division Three to high level Division One. That's smoked right into the mid of Van Ash off the bat of Jasmine Hall. Yeah, Pender. Yeah, that's, that's giving a lot of free bases in a game. We talked about some of the other subtleties. The opposite way into the glove of Pender off the bat of. Lauren Van Ash, one out. You know, play here, play there. Well, you Sun really starting to peek out from the clouds as it gets a bit brighter on the infield. Full count offering up the middle. It's a base hit. Holbrook will stop it first. And UVA keeps piling on hits against the Dukes. One two offering from List. Bounces in the dirt. Running on the pitch, Holbrook. First stolen base in the year for Holbrook. And the Cavaliers with a runner in scoring. 3-2, bounces low. Throw down a third, safe. Another heads up play by Holbrook. Cavaliers with runners on the corners. Runs are <laughs> necessary. There are some gray areas. Five digits, man, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if it's that many, but it's digits. been a lot. Ground to the third. Hall keeps it in fair ground. Nice sling over to first. UVA does get another run across as Holbrook scores. So that base running pays off. And now UVA, a couple innings away, but they enact the run rule. To it dramatically so. Did you have gone home there if you were Hall? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, 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 not necessarily, not necessarily. One, two out in front of that one. Abby Weaver strikes out. So the first strikeout for Peyton List, who entered this game in relief duty of Kearse, uh, now a personal trainer. He was on the cross country team, swim team at Division Three. John Carroll U. Hensler strikes out. Mom will likely hit delete on that video. 
2-2 as the crowd looks on. Butler strikes out. One of the rare misses. Which too, when JMU had just All-America pitcher after All-America pitcher. Took an awkward hop there on Hilton, but gets the body in front against KK Mathis. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Were the so, kids paying attention? They were, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, had some good questions afterwards. Macy Eaton with a leadoff walk in the fourth inning against Peyton List. D Hall on the lower level, just the short line, believe it or not. Usually that line is out to Route 33, where the other Chick fil A is. Mm. <laughs> so now one away as Sarah Kuhn steps to the plate, one for two with an infield single in the second. Loops that one in foul ground, and underneath it, Lily Romero for out number two. One out away from Jamie. Back on Friday, they got four runs earned against her. Six total. Throw down to second. And swiping the bag there is Eaton. Eaton with a delayed steal. Caught her the, uh, the Clemson series. We, we found out from Coach Harden. So this one goes to the backstop. Romero fails to make the play. And advancing over to third is Eaton. <laughs> she was saying when, when we spoke to her this morning, Kurt, She's not in the third base coaching box, for example. We're seeing more coaches, at least a small trend. Strikeout here from Kelsey Hackett. I'll finish that thought when we come back. I so. cannot wait. I'm sure. Get in your professorial mode. All, all right. right. Discomfort for them. All right back towards the circle. And a great, great catch there. But some of the changes that are definitely uh, taking place now in college sports. So, and it, it goes back, actually, Corey, where it first came to be a conversation was what Shelly Clays is. Five for 17 at the plate this year. As she loops that one off the glove of the third baseman, Barbie. And the Dukes with two base runners on with two outs. Courtney Lane, a strike away from back-to-back -back scoreless frames. Runners advance into scoring position for James Madison as Edwards is on third and Rogers on second. Synchronized read by the runners. Talking about a game again. Unfortunately for the Dukes, it's the freshman Lane who calls everybody off and hauls it in for out number three. That prevents James. It's remarkable. The best I can compare that to is how Old Dominion women's basketball dominated the Colonial in the 90s, you know, in that sport. But uh, Louisiana and. JMU knew going in to the Sun Belt that the 18 and 12, you know, you get on a run and you could be right back into it. And both these teams feel that way. Hard hit ball to left. Avery Pender makes the play for JMU against Holbrook. Yeah, it, it, it becomes a big, a big deal. And, uh, and this team last year felt like uh, everybody felt like they were learning because being in the Sun Belt, uh, everything from where do you stay, every team in the league, and you're not traveling to everywhere everywhere, and it'll take a few years for that to happen. Hilton goes, throw down a second, that's safe. Steve Brown says the throw is not in time. Again, opposite way, cracked off the bat, right into the glove of Hallie Hall. So good work from Peyton List. Ranked Virginia Tech number 11, Duke at five, Clemson number 16, Florida State at number 18. Leading up to the ACC tournament in. I mean, playing Stanford's going to be like a home series and a double play. My, oh, my. So Bella Hensler on the line. To the great start. Cavaliers scored five in the first, added another three in this offense with only three hits so far today. Here's the 2-0. Butler smokes it the opposite way off the glove of Weaver. I'm surprised Weaver even got to the ball initially. That pops off the glove of catcher Sarah Kuhn, and Butler advances to second. And if the Dukes can get a hit here. All three games moved up a day, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 4-4 four, four, and noon. Mathis up the middle, base hit. Van Ash decides to scoop it to second, 
And we'll continue here from Veterans Memorial Park as Reed Butler scores. Well, there's a rally to wipe out the run rule. Two out, base hit by Reed. Takes second base on a pass ball. Two. Second RBI on the day for Mathis, 28 and 29 on the season. That run from that program too. Mathis goes, no throw from Kuhn. And the Dukes have another runner in scoring position. Head coach, so she went for all that time as the, the woman in charge. They're on their way to Harrisonburg. Hall corkscrews it into fair ground. It's another run for James Madison. Give Hallie Hall a double. Mathis scores, and James Madison plates a couple here in the fifth. Well, if what's happened, Reed would have scored. Mathis has scored, and Hall ending up with a little looper over first base for a double. Essentially. The 0-2 from Lane, strikeout. Fires one in there against her fellow pitcher. And James Madison has four runs, three of them earned. Her ERA is at 3-4-5 on the year. As Kaylin Jones, the pinch hitter, draws a walk to lead off the sixth. Active to the Dukes, she was part of a staff at UVA. Many different options. Right back up the middle, hard hit ball beyond Groob. And a base hit for Macy Eaton, and she is aboard for the fourth time today. And two singles, a walk, and reaching on an error for Eaton. Step on the bag for one for Jasmine Hall. Tosses over to first. That's not in time. Molly Groob looking for a strike here on the 3-0. Too high for ball four, and the Cavaliers load the bases with one out. A lot can go on. In the dirt, thinking about going, now going, and scoring Eaton. There's some hesitation there from the freshman, but opted to dart home, made the right call, UVA by seven. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Go. Here we go. And almost ended up being a fortuitous bounce for James Madison because it went off the shin guard of Hunter as we inch closer and closer to sundown. The lights are not on. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper up the middle. Edwards slings home for one as that prevents the Cavaliers from getting that run rule activated. 3-2, two, two outs, base is juiced. Holbrook lets it go, ball four, and it's back to an eight-run lead for the Cavaliers. Into score is all nine coming to the plate in the five-run first, and seven appearing there in the second. Gets Groob. away. Yeah, Groob looks down at her palm. Didn't like how that pitch came out of her hand. Into score for UVA is Hackett, and it's a nine-run lead. Muse 2-2. Grounded to short. Quick flip to second. Holding there. <laughs> Madison Edwards making sure that ball stayed in the glove for out number. The end of their week, they were still kind of in the load process up through a Tuesday. And those Tuesday games, as here's a walk from Edwards, her 15th on the season to lead James Madison. Those Tuesday games. Rethinking. Opposite way. Hackett makes the catch. Back to first. Edwards off the fly out from Campbell. 2-2. Two -two. Pender strikes out. Lane with her fourth strikeout today. As she looks to complete. Hall pops it up. In the infield, Jade Hilton underneath it. Has to backpedal, but reels it in for out number three and the final out of today's game. For the second straight season, UVA with a run rule win 
over James Madison as the Cavaliers dominate today 12-3 the final from Bank of the James Field. UVA now 7-1 over its last eight games, improving to 22-10 on the season. James Madison drops to 18-13. Yeah, the big uh, first.